What's up, chef? So, welcome to my kitchen. So, I made jello, but I think I needed it to let it set for another hour, but I'm kind of hungry and I'm craving it right now, so we're eating it now. It is pretty liquidy right now. <laughs> See, wait a minute, wait a minute. Brian, don't worry, you'll get your jello right now. I made it just for you. <laughs> it does not look good, but it tastes wonderful. It's not all about the look. See? You're gonna love it though. <laughs> See, and then look at this is a different style of jello. It's more of the mushy, but <laughs> yeah, once, the green we, goop. once we let it harden a little bit more, that's round two. So, this is the first one, and then the second one will be a different experience. So, I'm eating, I'm eating, this is what I like to call slut. So, premature jello, but that's the way you cook it. It seems more wiggly, I feel like, than normal jello. All right, I'll trust you. Here we go. A little small sample. I haven't had jello in a decade, to be honest. Come on. <laughs> I really see why no one does green. Jello. Nostalgia. It brings you back to the good old days. I never mess with jello like that. What is it? Gelatin mixture? Gelatin. Jello is just the brand. I think you did a good job on this. Thanks. Yeah, so the. Oh, sorry, someone's calling me. Jello? <laughs> jello pot. Okay, so here's a taste test for you. If you're gonna make Jello, eat it an hour before they say to take it out of the fridge, and that's how you get this. Yeah, kind of hits right now. It hits a little bit differently, you know. Here's some for you. The fact that it's all mushed up already <laughs> is giving me anxiety. It's like mashed Jello. Mashed, mashed Jello. Jell Rob's favorite. Here, I'm gonna give some to them. To the viewers. Hey. Dude, stop. Why are you so, what, I'm done, what? Oh, hey, what's up, you're vlogging. Ah, oh, I was just reading here. Good news, everyone. Today we had a little delivery action going on. Look at this refrigerator. I have never been more excited to see lactate. I have not had lactate in months. Look at that, we got the yogurt, bro. I haven't had yogurt. Oh, this is kind of a flex here. Strawberries, turkey bacon. We got the protein chips, baby. What? We got the yerbas. The thing about the yerbas, the thing about the yerbas, they taste good, but then they give you heart palpitations. So basically you have to be a psychopath to like drink these, but they don't give you heart palpitations. They give you heart palpitations. I wouldn't trust it, but they are good. With the cereal, we got the little bites, boom, Captain Crunch, my favorite cereal. Everything is looking up around here. You remember a few vlogs ago, if you guys have actually watched the videos, you would have probably remembered us talking about our hair, getting haircuts. Well, the day has come where I decided I would like to do something with this. I want it to be all cut off. I don't want any more hair. I'm tired of touching it. I, uh, I can't get a shape up. I'm not gonna risk my life and get my and have a barber come over here. So today is the day that Rob has been waiting for his whole life, which is to, to cut my hair and hopefully not violate me. Come Completely. Barber sure. Rob. Rob, aka Fresh Cut. See, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew. I knew Ryan couldn't go that long without getting a haircut. Part of the reason <laughs> was like, I want like good vlog content, like something for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants a haircut. I don't want to say I'm 100% fully confident that I'm gonna do a good job with your haircut, but let's try it. Why not? We're on lockdown right now. It's not like we have to impress anybody. Look at my hair. I don't care. But like Rob's saying that, that he's not confident. Like that's exactly what you want to hear when you're going into getting your haircut. Exactly. It's better that you know what you're getting yourself into. But I have cut my hair before and I've cut it pretty good. I've never cut somebody else's hair. That's why I say that. But hey, if somebody else can do it, I can do it too. Let's go. Come right in here. It's my shop. <laughs> Are we doing it in here? Yeah. Why not? Okay. We can do it out there. Yeah, let's do it out there. All right, okay. Let me get my stuff and from my inventory here. <laughs> Toolkit, baby. We're ready to go. Okay, yeah, I'll be uglier. If it messes up or something, I'm just gonna cut the whole thing off. And not being able to get shaped up does suck. Bro, I have this stuff. Look. Cause when our barber comes over, this is legit what he has. Dude, we're fine. This alone will do the trick. Hey, sir. How's it going? Pretty good. I'm welcome to our barber shop. What would you like today? Oh, just want a little bit off each side. That's really it. Here we go. And let's get my stuff. So Ryan sent me a picture that I could refer to. Yeah, you'll be able to get it probably on the, let me get a two, one and a half. You will not be upset with the cut. <laughs> yeah, and I'll send a positive Yelp review. Don't you worry there, Ryan. We getting somewhere. Bro, exactly. I'm just getting the basis of it. Wait, don't, don't even look, don't even look. <laughs> I cut a big chunk off. <laughs> I never thought in my entire life something like this would be happening. <laughs> 
And Rob did a great job, actually. I'm getting like Jimmy Butler vibes. Bro, to me, that's a haircut. No. So we're making some real tiny tweaks. And Rhino's never done this before. Never. It's going great. Bro, that's fresh to me. I like it. Thank you, Rob. You're welcome. Barbara Rob couldn't have envisioned anything better than this. And it's gonna keep growing up. No, it's time to cut nose hair. <laughs> He's asleep, I think. After about five minutes of sitting there looking at myself, I decided I want to cut everything off <laughs> because I want to be free. I would like to get that weight off my shoulders, if you will, by going completely bald though. So. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at me. What's up, guys? F <laughs> <laughs> it. This might be the new look, right? Ooh, look at that. Bro, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> so we should auction this off. eBay. It's kind of lit. I'm not serious. <laughs> oh, it's so crazy. This is scary. Bro, why my head so small? Oh. How do you? Whoa. Oh my god. You can rest assured that bald is not my look. You don't have to pay for haircuts no more. <laughs> You're right. Rest in peace, Ryan's hair. Beanies for the rest. No, you have to embrace it. This is you. <laughs> I'm speechless. So no girls for, for half a year. <laughs> Unless girls like the girls are like the bald guys. <laughs> Caillou. You kind of look like Jordan, Michael Jordan. Oh, shy key. Dude, I look like a, a weird creature. Oh. You just sing like you're, oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Skin you need to get some sun. I ain't got nothing else to say. Other than uh, egg season. You got like hard boiled eggs. <sighs> We got the jumping going on. Yeah, guys, I'm doing a suit thing. The next 30 days, well, till I get my cast off, I'm gonna be jumping for two hours a day. One hour at the beginning of the day, one hour at the end of the day. I did my hour jump this morning. I'm only four in, four minutes into my second hour of the day, so got a lot to go. And Rob, what are you doing? Just working on some stuff. Keith Herring, Keith Herring tap. Keith Herring, Keith Herring. Big Keith Herring fan. Whoa, what the heck? Here's my Twitch emotes. Look at that. Follow me on Twitch, Rob underscore Lopez. Link down below. I'm gonna stream like next week or something. Cereal talks with Ryan Rob. Have, have a cereal with Rob right now. What's the scoop? This is my look for the next while. The hat with the uh why? <laughs> oh Rob, I, I wonder why. No. Alright, am I more attractive with hair? Undoubtedly, yes. But who cares? But what even is attractive? Attractive is me with hair. We keep it a stack over here. Stack and a half. The clothing brand mansion, which I'm also gonna dedicate a whole other vlog to. By the time you're watching this, it's out. So make sure you guys click the first link, top of the description. Mansion. Anyone who texted this number that's on the screen. They got early access to the site. It's flying off the shelves. If you guys would like to be updated when we do our next drop and would like to have early access to the site to get the clothing, just text this number and you'll be updated. This is the number that Noah and I use that we can directly text you guys any updates or messages or whatever. So yeah, the clothing brand itself, Noah and I came up with it and we wanted to stray away from the kind of YouTuber-y merch. Like we wanted something that our viewers could actually wear when they're in school and wear around and when they're hanging out. And it's stuff that we would wear because not everyone wants to wear YouTuber stuff. So let's completely eliminate the word merch. That's not, it's not merch. It's like, it's legitimate clothing. Merch is like pretty cheap t-shirts and it's very basic screen printing on stuff that just gets out there the stuff that we're creating is we're going to the place and sourcing the actual products and making sure they're high quality and stuff's getting embroidered onto it this is like super thick it's not no basic throwaway merch it's a clothing brand that we're building like I said we're, we're gonna explain this in another video but the clothing brand is called mansion and then the logo is this the cute little house and I think I saw some people that were like it's called mansion but it's just a house that actually made me happy because that is the exact concept that we were going for it is a oxymoronic statement that's the point jumbo shrimp jumbo yeah shrimp. the concept behind that is basically things are what you make them the brand itself we didn't want to make it too deep and too philosophical but the meaning behind the imagery was simply while it might be a little house I'm calling it a mansion anything is what you make it the day can be a bad day or a good day depending on what you call it today's a great day just because it is this is a mansion there's currently 300 people on the website 
website right now. Yeah, I would suggest that you guys right now click the link, top of the description. We're gonna be doing a lot more drops all throughout the year. We're super excited for this. We're proud that this is something that we get to build. And it's just a start of it. Oh, and it's something that Noah and I have always wanted to do. It's another field that we wanted to branch out into because we like clothes and like fashion. Now we can really make what the frick we want to. Hey, what's up, Rob? What's up? Where'd you get that shirt? Oh, this one? That's the new mansion. Yeah, I got it from the link down below. I have mine too. Oh. Oh, this is my favorite thing on the planet. It says mansion. When you look at it's it. It's mirrored. It's it's mirrored. So when you look in the mirror at the shirt, it reads properly. Oh my God. Next level. So excited. We're going to be designing so much crazy stuff. So yeah, guys, if you want to stay up to date with any of the announcements regarding our mansion clothing brand, feel free to follow underscore mansion clothing or visit the website mansionclothing.com. We really appreciate your guys' constant support on the vlog channel and the main channel. Bro, the vlog channel, you guys are going crazy the on vlogs this are one. Fun. Vlogs, we have so much fun filming these and we're going to keep on pumping them out because it's just fun to have that relationship with you guys. I feel like we're closer with you guys than people who kind of just watch the skits and stuff. Mm -hmm. You guys are like the real supporters that really back us up and know who we are as people. That means a lot to me. Thank you guys. This is going to be the biggest vlog channel by the end of 2020. I said it. Ooh, oops. I think we can get to two mil. I think we so, can too. Hope you guys have a great day. Continue to stay positive. Keep pushing. Please drop suggestions <laughs> of what different things you would like to see us do or things you'd like to see us talk about. Drink water.